Welcome fourth graders to your drawing lesson today. You've been kind of prepped for this with your dollar bill, a fine detail and all the little techniques you learned in that. I just gave you a break with a design project last week and now we're going to go back to instead of drawing from a paper copy like the dollar bill was, you're going to be doing something real like your eye. And don't worry about it being both eyes, just one eye and you're going to enlarge it and you're going to be really looking at your details. So if you sit close to a mirror or if you have a hand mirror like we have in class, if we were doing this in class you would have all been holding one of these. So as you look at your eye, we are going to remember enlarge is quite large. So you're going to make a dot for pretty much where you're going to start in the corner of your eye. So as you're doing it, I'm looking at the corner of my eye and I'm just going to start with very lightly sketching in the big shape of what my eye is. So I'm kind of looking at it and I'm kind of kind of being aware that it's it's um, got flat in places and it curves in places and, and is a little different than what you, you think it is. And I'm even going to sketch in a little bit what the eyelid does here above it. And as I'm doing this, I'm, I'm looking constantly in the mirror to see where I'm not looking at my nose, I'm not looking at eyebrows. All I'm looking at is just the eye shape and, and everything. Then what I do is I start to come back to that corner and I get down and I look even closer. So when you're looking even closer, you're going to notice what the eye has in here is this little tissue part that comes in and makes a shape inside that corner of the eye. This is the little fun kind. And right now I'm doing the, the, the sketchy part of this and I'm going to be, be looking at maybe even a little shadowing what I see here, but I'm putting that in and I'm going to notice that the round part of the eye is not where I can't see the entire circle. At the top it goes under the lid and at the bottom it goes under the thing. So when I start to sketch my circle, it's going under the eyelid. I, and I see this part of it. So this part down here, the rest of the circle is under the, under your bottom part of your eyelid. Up here, it's going under the eyelid. Very rarely do you actually see the, the completely around your eye. You'd have to have your eyes open really, really wide, maybe surprised to ever get that kind of look and raise your eyebrows when you do that. So when you're looking in the mirror, you want to do that. You can lift up your eyebrows and get that effect. So now what I want to do is I want to make a dot right in the center of my eye because it's very interesting in there how large the pupil is of your eye. So you just start with the dot to go around and you sketch that in. And then you start to notice the, the lines that radiate out from the eye literally come out and remember the pencil strokes you've been using in your dollar bill on, on what you're doing so I'm starting out with the lines going radiating out straight out to there I'm going to be working the same way back in so as my my eyes I'm crisscrossing so right now I'm using not cross hatching I'm using hatching right on top of each other but I'm pointing back to that dot in the center all the time to keep that part of the eye going. So I'm coming in from the outside and I'm coming from the outside in. So I'm going back and forth both ways. So you can see as you start to do that. So you're gonna be filling that in. Again, we're, I'm gonna do a faster little thing here because here I did it a little more where I actually even came back and I did a second row inside overlapping and then I'm going to eventually come back and really darken my center. You can start to see what it starts to do when I do that. So I can continue on this in a little bit. So now I'm going to go up to the eyelid and I'm going to look again real closely. Sometimes I like to, when I'm doing this, I like to lower my eye a little bit when I'm looking at it and see what's happening there. So now I come back with my detail and I'm going to start to even look at the eyelashes. And you see how I'm swishing my pencil away? I'm, the outside is very light because I'm doing this. 
I'm pressing down and I'm, I'm literally letting the end of the thing, I do the same thing when I paint. So when I lift my brush up, it leaves a thinner line out here. So as you do that here, you're gonna be looking and you're gonna notice eyelashes kind of tangle a little bit. They don't all go exactly the same direction. So as you look at your eye, you're gonna be looking at how those eyelashes go out and I'm working right on top of each other. I'm almost making a little swoop like that as it comes from there. And I'm just looking at what my eye is doing so I can do, then it stops. So if you have long eyelashes, you can you really bring them out. Now, as you look down on the, on the bottom ones, there's not quite as many, but you also have a little layer because you see that lot bottom line. So you actually see almost a little double line of your eyelid down here because the lashes don't cover it. So if you look at that part of your eye, you're gonna see a little more of a ridge there. You know, again, as I'm working something like this, I just keep going back and I'll work another little part of it as I start to pull my eye together. So as you're doing that, keep working at where you see a little shadowing on the outside. You can start to, to ba basically come in and shadow a little bit out here where you might have a, a little fold coming down and up here at the top where you see your eyelid maybe shadow in a little bit and just focus on that don't worry about later on then as you start to do this you can actually come back and do both eyes and then we work into our faces so you can see like down here now I found a few eyelashes I'm going to do that same stroke coming out down here from the lid see I'm going to pull out some lashes okay have fun with this take pictures take pictures of your eye and see what you can do if you finish with your eyes enough and you you know like I said, again I said you're gonna keep coming back and working the details of your eye as you're doing it do one with your nose look at your nose and then maybe just do one with your mouth so as you start to do it you're going to be getting better drawing skills that we are working on and building up and you're going to be a beautiful artist take pictures so we can see what you did have fun